and welcome to Expanding Double Brackets. Just before we start, a reminder that there is a notes chapter available for this video. Just check the description below for a download link and you'll be able to work along with me as we go through the video. Okay, so in this video I'm going to show you three different methods that you can use for expanding and simplifying uh, double brackets. Um, in each case, it, the idea is that it ensures that you will end up with four different elements um, in your answer when you uh, have multiplied the two parts together. Just making sure that you definitely do multiply every element that is required. And the first version that I'm going to use is the grid method. Um, and you'll have seen this one if you've watched the video on expanding a single bracket. Now, to use the uh, grid method, what we need to do is just take each of the elements of the original question and place those on the outside of the grid. So we've got x and we've got plus 2. We have x and we have plus 3. And what this means is inside we're going to then end up with um, four different elements when we multiply them together. So the first box is x times x and x times x is x squared. x times plus 2, well that is plus 2x. x times plus 3 is plus 3x. And plus 3 times plus 2, well that is plus 6. And therefore what we've ended up with is x squared plus 2x plus 3x plus 6. Now that is the expansion complete but the question does ask us to simplify as well and so that comes to us collecting together the like terms the x's that are in the middle. x squared is the only x squared in there. 2x plus 3x is 5x and plus 6. We've expanded and simplified. Next, we have a method which I call the claw. It's uh, because we use these uh, loops going across the top and under the bottom um, just to make sure that we multiply everything by everything else. So the first part is that we've multiplied the x by the x. And so x times x is x squared. Then we have x being multiplied by the plus 2. So plus 2x. Then we have the plus 4 being multiplied by the x, so plus 4x. And finally, we have plus 4 multiplied by plus 2, well that would be plus 8. Now just like we had in the previous question, we've now got the four elements that are required when multiplying them together, but we need to simplify as well. So these two pieces in the middle need simplifying. So I've got x squared plus 2x plus 4x, well that is plus 6x. And finally, plus 8. Now, the last method is known as FOIL. And FOIL just uh, is, a way, is an acronym um, for how we're actually going to do the method. We're going to look at first. We're going to look at outside. We're going to look at inside. And we're going to look at last. And so those letters are there to remind us which pieces we're actually multiplying together. So first means we multiplied the first item in the first bracket with the first item in the second bracket. x times x, x squared. Outside means we take the value on the outside and multiply it by the value on the outside. So x times plus 1, so that's plus 1x. The inside means we multiply together the two items on the inside. Plus 5 times x is plus 5x. And last means it's the last element in the first bracket. Multiply by the last element in the second bracket. Plus 5 times plus 1 is plus 5. And you will notice that actually when we use FOIL, we end up with exactly the same claw shape as we ended, uh, did in the middle uh, example. And that's because it's exactly the same method each time. Um, in this case, we want to simplify again. So we just want to simplify these two pieces in the middle. So we've got x squared plus 1x plus 5x, that is plus 6x. And finally, add 5 at the end. Okay, then in the next set of examples, I'm going to start introducing some negative values in there as well. Uh, but we're just still going to set them up in exactly the same way. So the first one using the grid method, um, we have x and plus 4. 
and we have x take away 2. And so then we multiply together. The first box is x times x, so we have x squared. The next box is x times plus 4, so that is plus 4x. The next one is negative 2 times x, so that's negative 2x. And negative 2 times positive 4, well negative times positive is negative, so that's negative 8. Bring them together, we have x squared plus 4x take away 2x take away 8. And then we just need to simplify. So the two parts that need to be simplified are the two that are in the middle. x squared remains as it is. Plus 4x take away 2x. Well, that is still positive, but it's now only 2x. And take away 8. For the claw method, we're going to start with the red loop. x times x is x squared. Then we're going to do x multiplied by negative 3. So negative 3 x. Then we're going to use the green, so negative 5 times x is negative 5x. And finally the black, negative 5 times negative 3, that's plus 15. So when we simplify, the only part that needs simplifying is in the middle, x squared. I have negative 3x take away 5x. Now this is not a double negative situation, this is negative 3 take away another 5, so we're at negative 8x and plus 15. And finally if we use FOIL, I want to multiply the first values together, so x times x is x squared. I then want to multiply the outsides, so that's x times plus 6, so that's plus 6x. Then the insides, negative 1 times x, negative 1x. And finally, the last, so negative 1 times positive 6, well, that is negative 6. And so we get x squared, and then we want to simplify the x's. So plus 6, take away 1, well, that is plus 5x, and take away 6. And our final set of examples, we're now going to introduce um, coefficients of x within the brackets and um, just see what effect that has on our working. Um, if we use the grid method for the first one, we have 2x plus 4. We have 3x take away 2. And then we're just going to multiply together. Now, in this case, uh, we want to multiply 3x by 2x. So the first thing is we multiply the numbers. 3 times 2 is 6. And x times x is x squared. In the next section I'm doing 3x times plus 4, so 3 times 4 is 12, so that's plus 12x. Negative 2 times 2 is negative 4, and there's going to be x, and then negative 2 times positive 4, well that is negative 8. When we bring this together we have 6x squared plus 12x, take away 4x, take away 8, and so then we just want to simplify that. The piece in the middle here, 6x squared is going to remain, but plus 12 take away 4, well that is plus 8x take away 8. If we use the claw method, um, I have uh, first of all the red arrow, so 3x times x, 3x squared. Then we have the blue arrow, 3x multiplied by negative 3, so that's a negative 9x. Then the green, negative 5 times x, so that's a negative 5x. And then the black one, negative 5 times negative 3 is plus 15. When we simplify, we just need to make sure we simplify the x's in the middle. So we've still got 3x squared, but negative 9 take away another 5. Well, that is negative 14x plus 15. And then finally, if we use FOIL, the first values need multiplying together first. So that's 2x times 5x. Well, 2 times 5 is 10. x times x is x squared. Then we do the outside. So that is 2x times plus 6. So that is plus 12x. Then the inside. So negative 1 times 
positive 5x, so that's negative 5x. And then the last negative 1 times uh, positive 6 is negative 6. We need to simplify the two parts in the middle, but we've still got 10x squared. We have plus 12x take away 5x, so that is plus 7x and take away 6. And so we'll end with the exam question. It came from the Edexcel paper in November 2017, and it was foundation paper 2. And so we're going to expand and simplify brackets 2x plus 1, brackets 3x minus 2. Um, and at this point, it's entirely up to you. Now, my preferred method, just to make sure that I definitely get all four values that I need, is the grid method. So I'm going to use that here. 2x plus 1. 3x and take away 2 and so let's just fill in each box as we go 3x times 2x well that's 3 times 2 is 6 and x times x is x squared 3x multiplied by positive 1 is plus 3x negative 2 times 2x well that is negative 4x and negative 2 times positive 1 is negative 2 and so I have 6x squared plus 3x take away 4x take away 2 and then we just need to do our simplify the 6x cube uh, sorry 6x squared is still there but then I have positive 3x take away 4x well if I've got positive 3 and I take away 4 I'm at negative now because this is negative 1 I'm not going to write the number 1 just the letter uh, just the letter x and then finally the negative 2 and so our answer, 6x squared, take away x, take away 2.